So when looking at prosecuting prior cases, when it has to do with someone threatening a school, whether it is a credible threat or not, what are things you look for? I mean, uh, first of all, beyond just the moral and ethical issue of reporting false reports and causing this uh, uh, chaos in our community, uh, you can be criminally uh, held responsible for it. Uh, we have a, uh, a 769202 in the Utah Code, which says emergency reporting and a false report. If a person makes a false report to an, uh, any emergency service about an, uh, uh, implying that an ongoing emergency exists or it involves an imminent threat of serious bodily injury or serious serious physical injury or death at a specific location is guilty of a third degree felony. And so, so it is a felony, uh, uh, a prosecutable felony. Uh, and if you are engaged in this conduct, which causes injury or harm to a third party as a, a result of your false report, uh, that can also be charged as a third degree felony. Uh, and so, so these are serious uh, allegations. And of course, then depending on the context and the facts of each particular kind of reporting, there may be other, uh, other case, uh, other issues. Uh, and if you cause harm or injury to a third party, it doesn't preclude from maybe even being sued civilly. So this is a very um, uh, 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 important issue and people should not be engaged in this conduct lightly. Um, just an update on where things were today, just because I heard back from Department of Public Safety, they traced this all back to someone out of the, out of the country, um, an automated message, not from Utah, not from the states. Um, but where has where have hoaxes and threats against schools come in in your prosecuting background? Have you had to work on cases such as this? You know, we we haven't seen it in the in the context of a large kind of hoax. I think people have been very good about it, but we do sometimes occasionally see contexts of uh, abuse of emergency services, uh, fault making false reports, uh, and so in that context, you see it on an individual level. Uh, but when this kind of stuff happens, again, you know what is sad about this is, uh, you know, we have family, we have a community, we have uh, parents, and unfortunately, we have some tragedies around around the nation uh, involving that. And for somebody to engage in this uh, and to cause this kind of chaos uh, and heartache is just uh, not only unethical and immoral, but like I said, it's also illegal. And if you engage in that and we know who you are, you're gonna be criminally prosecuted. Do you feel like this uh, large scale operation today could lead to bad actors down the road trying to do more of the same? It's, it's such a, a large scale thing that, would you expect to see more? Well, I, you know, I hope not. For our community's sake, I hope not. And I hope these are just uh, isolated incidents. Uh, somebody who's just, uh, you know, whatever, uh, has their own sort of pathology here and uh, I'm not trying to figure them out. Uh, but thankfully, this does not happen with any kind of frequency. I think people understand, uh, 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 you know, that this is, uh, you know, why we don't want to do this kind of stuff and the harm it causes. So luckily, we don't have to witness a lot of that. And I hope it does not happen. But if it does, I think it's important for people to know, even if you think that you're just being uh, cute or, uh, you know, snarky about something that, uh, you know what, uh, if we catch you, we're going to prosecute you. The last thing I had is I was looking at 76-5-107, which is called Threats Against Schools. Do you know if that's out of date by chance? You know, uh, I, it, without looking it up to see uh, on it, yeah. And the uh, reason why I ask is because you were referencing felonies, but I've only seen misdemeanors in here. And I just want to yeah, make sure well, that yeah, I was there are, that. So there's a series of things that, well, that's why I said, depending on the context you can have, you can have different levels. Uh, but uh, when we talk about emergency reporting, there's a very specific statute for that, which is 76-9202. And, uh, and, and I think the legislature purposely did that because it is emergency uh, about uh, uh, ongoing emergency and, and and using the emergency system, and that makes it into a third-degree felony. Anything else you want to add on what you make of the events that transpired today? No, I think I think look, we as a community are very resilient, and uh, and I really appreciate the efforts of our law enforcement community and our teachers and uh, and our parents there. So uh, you know uh, that uh, you know and their their mutual support to each other on this. I'm sorry that we as a community had to go through this, but uh, know that if somebody violates that, I know law enforcement we would prosecute that person uh, for causing this kinds of disturbance. Thank you for your time.